Hey guys, welcome back to Pup Dudes. Thank you for joining us once again. As we are shooting this right now, we are only about about one hour away from face-off time in Game 4 of the Stanley Cup Finals. But it looks like we have just enough time to have a quick conversation about Logan Cooley. Paul, the, the draft isn't far off now. July 7th. My friend, where do you think that Logan Cooley fits into the draft order come July 7th? Unfortunately, at the NHL entry draft this year, Logan Cooley, despite having the pedigree to go first overall, may just be an afterthought. He's a centerman. He's one of the most dynamic, offensive, gifted players in the draft this year. Plays for the powerful U.S. National Development Program where he is the best player there. You don't have to go very far back to see great players coming out of that program, including most recently Jack Hughes, Cole Caulfield, Trevor Zegras, Austin Matthews, Jack Eichel, all graduated from the U.S. National Development Program. The problem is those kids need to usually develop a year or two. So in Montreal's situation, it's unlikely that they're going to take Logan Cooley despite him maybe being the kid with the highest ceiling in this draft. He is a coveted center though, so and there is a connection there with Kent Hughes, although I don't think Kent Hughes is going to uh, be brave enough to do that in front of the home crowd in Montreal. I just can't see it happening. Paul, you mentioned the delay for players coming out of the U.S. National Development Team program. Why do you think that delay is there? I think the reason that these kids don't make it... Uh, right away is because they've been put together at such a young age with the U.S. National Development Program and they are taught to embrace their gifting. So they are dynamic hockey players, they have tremendous offensive skill, but very quickly they become very good. And when you're very good, you don't learn how to play defense. Then all of a sudden you, you're 18 years old and you're drafted and you're put into a situation where you're trying to break in with the NHL club against men and the, the stuff that you could cheat the, the lower levels just doesn't work in the NHL. Look just even recently how difficult it is for, for these kids to uh, make an impact in the 200-foot game. Look at Zegers' numbers defensively and then look at uh, Cole Caulfield uh, when he broke in. I think of a kid like Casey Middlestadt in, in Buffalo. He just looked lost and he, he ended up going to college uh, uh, for a bit and still wasn't ready when he came to the NHL. They often aren't big and strong enough to play in the league right away. And uh, despite his compete level, Logan Cooley probably isn't ready to go to the NHL right away. Okay, so where do you think he'll end up being taken? I'm guessing that the New Jersey Devils will go with that big winner, uh, Uri Slavkuski. Uh, apparently that's how you say it, and I just want to make sure I get that right. Basically, I think the Devils go that route because they need that big winger. They've got uh, center depth, they've got Jack Hughes, and they've got uh, Nico Heischer down the middle. And that big winger uh, that has a scoring touch and can play a bit of a physical game is kind of where they're going to go there. And that just leaves uh, Cooley as the odd man out. Does he end up in, in Arizona? I mean, ideally, that's the, the perfect landing spot because they're going to... Uh, build a nice core there and he could be an excellent part of that. Now should they go with a defenseman maybe they step up and and take one of the two uh, big defensemen that are available early uh, then he could potentially fall to Seattle which would be a windfall. Playing with another uh, U.S. NDP grad Matty Beneers uh, I think that would be a great uh, great landing spot for him. So we'll see how it goes but unfortunately I think Logan is the afterthought this year. I think because Shane Wright has such a well-rounded game he's the lock at number one Despite um, all the things that are the wonderful things that are saying about Cooley, I just don't think he has enough to displace one and two. I think he goes at three or four, and and then I think he goes on and he has a, a great career just based on the fact that he has such a great skill set. So that's our summary on Logan Cooley in the upcoming draft on July 7th. Click down here to the right to check out our other draft videos and click up here to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. See you next time.